Thank you for joining me for my vlog. And today I'll be sharing with you a wonderful acrylic painting of a pair of white pelicans sunning themselves. In my method, I use the acrylic inks for my background and for light glazing. And I use the fine acrylic paint from Sennelier for the overpainting. I'm going to be working on this painting of two white pelicans. But first I want to do my background. I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas panel in black, 100% cotton. And it's um, by Phoenix Arts Group. I've used them before. And I want to hang it this way because somehow I got markings on it and this is the side I'm painting on. The top part is going to be black and the bottom part is going to be water. And I think some white. I lost the cap to my spray cam. see how this works. You always have to shake up the acrylic ink bottles. because the pigment settles. Doesn't matter whose it is, all brands have the same issue. Although I personally like my method. Now, I'm not sure what I'm doing or how I'm doing it, so I'm gonna just sort of move back and forth. My pretty waves. Getting it all over my fingers. I know many of you are probably wondering why I'm going this far with this blending process. I could leave it alone and get all of these lovely angles, but I'm not going for a rough water. And that's something I would do if I were going for a rough water surface. Okay. Um. Just want to... Loosen this up a bit. Okay, I have my water base. Now I've got to let it dry. It's probably going to take a couple of hours for that to happen. And I'm also going to, everything is dried and I have drawn in my pelicans. This is what they look like in the photograph. It's a download from wildlife reference photos. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the turtles in or not, or any of the turtles in, but what I'm going to work on first is the reflections. And I'm going to work with the ink. And 
Okay, I'm gonna try this little slant brush. See how I like that. When it's dry, I'll rub away the pencil markings, the white pencil markings, but yeah, I'm gonna take this is not um this and any this is from Dollar Romney. And I picked up an orange. And I have a few other colors of the Sennelier inks. Um acrylic inks on order that should be arriving today sometimes, but I'm going to let that dry. It won't take very long. I want, I want that to dry. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to put in the turtles, but I can put the turtles in last. But what I am going to go ahead and do is the board. And so what I'm going to do is add a touch of the blue to make a slate. I'm using a number 11 round. I'm going to stir this up and see if I've got the color I want. I'm going to use that. That works for me. It's almost a turquoise. I don't know how that happened. Well, it's orange and white and blue. And this is a man-made um, platform in the in the lake it's very thin the inks are really a glaze but I'm working color on cup color so I'm bringing and there's a branch so while I'm filling it up that goes here I'm gonna get another little dish I'm gonna take a touch of the orange Whoops, that was a big touch of orange. And a touch of yellow to make it a little peachier. And white. A little more white. Okay. Take another round, smaller round. This is a number 10. Well, it needs more white. Okay. That's a lot more than I planned on making, but that's okay. It's glazing over. And then I'm going to take another little dish. And this one I'm going to put white in. And I'm going to take a touch of the blue gray. Now it's not, the lower level is not dry yet. I'm just letting it blend in. And I think 
think I am going to put, I'm going to put a turtle here. And here. So they'll be casting shadow and sunbathing. Okay. Very good. I may add another one, but the other doesn't need as much. And I'm using my china plate. Same one I use for watercolors, I use for the acrylics. Oops, let me take off my mala beads because they're going to clank. Just hang those around my neck. And I'm using this almost as a glaze. I don't want it to be really bold. I know the pelican isn't blue, but the shadow is blue-gray. Let this dry a little bit more. Then I can come back, having blended all the shadow in, I can come back with the white highlighting. Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment with this. This is from uh, an artist loft brush. It's a comb brush, flat. It's a little bit different than the other flat brushes I've seen. It works in multiple layers. And I want to see about highlighting in the feathers. I don't 
works nicely. Okay. Now, and this is a Liquitex acrylic marker. I'm just going to put in a pupil. Okay. For a couple of just extra fine lines here. Okay. Now, I like what I'm doing over here. I need a little bit. This area here should be darker than it is. Takes care of that part of the leg. I'm going to go in a little black. Okay, now bring in a number ten white.
Let me see her. I'm not doing a drawing with the turtles. I'm simply laying in their mass with my paint and I'll create their shape with shadows and lights. Now I'll have to come back and do highlighting for the turtles. That has one, and I'll do another one. Okay, that takes care of that. Now we need to let it alone, let it sit, and breathe. So I can look at it again and see where and what I need to change. I'm not sure how this background is laying, and um, I want to make sure that it's it looks even. And um, let's see, but and I don't know if there are any there are any fine details I need to get in there, but I will do that as well. So we're gonna let this rest for a bit. Oh, the turtles look so cute. Okay, we're gonna let all of this rest for a little bit, and then I will figure out what I'm doing. Well, my painting is finished, and I'm signing it now. Thank you for watching, and thank you for sticking with me if you've been with me before. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you liked the video, and if you want to see more of my work and watch how I progress with my acrylic painting, uh, just click on that subscribe button to see what's coming.